To create a contour toolpath, I'll first select Contour from the 2D toolpaths. For this part, I want to chain the blue and the red geometry. So I'll select these three entities in the order I would like the tool to travel. Then select the Chain tab. and select chain 1. I'll make sure the small green arrow is pointing to the side of the part to be cut, thus ensuring the tools on the correct side of the part. I'll accept my selections and the 2D toolpaths contour window opens. Here, I'll set up all of the cutting conditions. When the window first opens, it defaults to the Toolpath Type tab. At this point or any point in time, if I realize that I've chosen the wrong toolpath type, I can switch it to either the pocket, facing, slot mill, or model chamfer. On the left side of this window, in the Chain Geometry section, I can see there's currently one chain being used in this toolpath. Here I can also add geometry by selecting this button or remove all geometry by selecting this one. To demonstrate this, I'll unselect all geometry. Notice how Mastercam now tells me that I have zero chains. So I'll reselect the entities. and ensure the arrows are pointing in the correct direction. By selecting the bottom of the contour rather than the top, I'll save time because the Z level of the selected geometry sets the default cutter tip. I'll accept this selection. At any point in time, if you exit this window intentionally or accidentally by selecting the green check mark, don't panic. To get back to the window, simply select the parameters for this toolpath and you'll be back in the same spot as when it was closed.